All right, it is Saturday, August 31st. It's the end of August already, I can't believe it. It was up nice and early, like 20 after five, and it was so dark until like it started getting closer to six, and then I kind of was like fooling around shopping online, and now I'm finally getting out. It's nice and bright out, so I feel good. And I'm wearing today, I joined um, Team Volet for Oizel a couple weeks ago, and I got this this top, and I decided that I'm gonna try to wear it today and see how it feels, so maybe I can wear it when I run Surf Town next weekend. Although I probably, I don't know, I don't wanna wuss out, but I feel funny wearing it. I know that's so weird to say, because I'm probably gonna be the only one wearing an Oizel Volet shirt, tank, crop, whatever you wanna call it. But it was like after I joined, I kind of immediately felt funny about it because there's, you know, when you're on this team, there's like meetups and there's this, that, and the other thing. And I don't have that out where I am. <laughs> so it's kind of like, all right, well, I joined this team and now what? So anyway, I think the top is super cute. So I might just wear it just for that because it's cute and I like it and hopefully it'll make me run fast. I don't know. And then I also have my new $49 Skecher Go Run Rides on today. Let me show you those because they're pretty, they're pretty fresh looking. They're white. I don't know how that's gonna go. I've never owned white running shoes, but they definitely look fresh. Yeah, Hold on. Nice. They say Los Angeles on the back. Sorry, I lost my balance. Los Angeles. Not that I ever think that I want to run the Los Angeles Marathon or that I ever will. They're only $49, so can't beat that. And now I gotta go before my stomach starts feeling funky again. It's been a rough morning, but I gotta go. Bye. Alrighty, 16 miles done. Overall pace I think was like 8.23-ish maybe, 8.26, I'm not sure. I definitely feel, feel like I could have stuck it out for a few more miles, but I'm listening to Matt, 16 miles, that's it. Mini taper before the half marathon next week. But let me tell you, this is like totally messing with my head. This whole training cycle is. Like last year, before I ran Marine Corps, I was doing 20, 22, 23, 24, every single weekend, every single weekend I was doing 20 plus. This, this time, it is not like that. So, I mean, I'm still getting a bunch of miles in, like, you know, 90 to 100. I think this week I'm just a little bit over 100, so I guess it's all all right. I talked to Matt last night. He's like, I'm not going to bother you with this, but do you think I'm okay? And he said, I am positive you are fine. All right. I'm going to listen to Matt. I think he knows what he's talking about. Fingers crossed. But my top worked out good. I think I had like a little pinchy spot down here in my armpit, so I don't know. I think it, it'll be all right though if I decide to wear it, so. All right, I gotta go and get ready for work. It's a busy weekend. Peace. Good morning. It is Sunday, September 1st. It is my birth month. That's right, in 12 days, just 12 days, I will turn 41 years old. It's crazy to me like where how is that possible I don't know but anyway the good news is I don't really feel like I'm 41 so whatever today I am going out for like 10 to 13 miles I think I haven't really heard from Matt too much him and his family are away for the week so I don't know but I figure I asked him last night if I should do 10 to 13 he said sure that was it so that's what I'm doing today. I'm not gonna go particularly fast. I feel like all last week my paces were a little bit quicker on my easy runs than they probably should have been. So today I'm gonna go nice and easy. It's cool out, I got long sleeves on again. And yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice, easy, enjoyable run with no issues. Yesterday I had a dog come out and try to, yeah, I don't think he was trying to attack me, but he was barking and kind of chasing me. He's a big German Shepherd, so that's always fun. But, all right, I'm going to get going because it's late, and I will check back later. Bye.
So today I found this really cool snail. See? I don't know what to do with him. He's gonna get hit by a car. He's so cute. I did 14, so loud. I did 14.1 miles and let's see, recovery three days. My pace was 9.05. So, hopefully next week I'm going to be able to run this a little bit shorter, like two minutes a mile faster. We'll see. We'll see. I have like what I would love to see happen inside my head and I know what's probably more likely going to happen. All right. It is Monday. Happy Labor Day, September 2nd. And I'm um, heading out. I'm not really sure how far I'm going to go today. I'm still kind of feeling crappy. I have a headache. My stomach still feels nasty. Yesterday, I felt crappy all day. So last night, I got home from work, like nine-ish. I took four Motrin. I went to bed hoping that my headache would be gone. And I woke up and I still have a headache. So I don't know how far I'm going to make it today because I really don't feel great. So I just figured I was up. I woke up before my alarm went off. I'm not going to be able to go back to sleep. So I may as well go and run and see how I feel. Maybe I'll feel better. I don't know. Maybe I won't. But either way, I'm still going to feel like crap. So I can either feel crap and run or feel like crap and stay home and clean. <laughs> so running for the win again. Wish me luck. But I also, <clears throat> I've, I sent Matt a text message. He's away with his family, so I don't really want to bother him too much, but I wanted to know what my plan was for this week because I'm running the half marathon on Sunday, and he said to do, like, make this, like, an easy, like, taper week, which is fine. Like, I get that, but I just don't know exactly what I should be doing. So I figure... I asked him yesterday, what should I do tomorrow? Whatever, easy, and he said, yes. Okay, could you be any more like vague, <laughs> like, or whatever. Just tell me what you want me to do for the rest of the week. And I asked him that too, so I figure if he doesn't get back to me, I'm just gonna kinda stick to my, the plan, what I did a few weeks ago before I ran my seven, no, my 640 paced five miler. So that's just what I'm going to do. So I think it's easy today, easy tomorrow, mini hill workout on Wednesday. And then I think it was like easy Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we'll see. I'll figure it out. But I just need the reassurance now, please. All right. I got to get going because it's getting later and I have to cook breakfast this morning. It's nice and cool. So, all right, I'm going to go. I'll check back in when I'm done. And if I have to stop and puke, I'll let you know. All right, goodbye. All right, back 13.1. Lots of good news today. I did not puke, even though I kind of felt like I was going to. I actually, after maybe like the halfway point, I started to feel a little bit better. And I finished with a 7.59 pace for the 13 miles. So I'm happy with that. We'll see what happens this week. I'm gonna have some short, easy days, I think. and. Uh, Hopefully Sunday I will beat my time for last year, for the last time I ran this this half marathon. So now I gotta go to work. Okay, bye. All right, it is Tuesday, September 3rd, and it's late. It's almost eight o'clock. My kids got my kids bus got here a little bit late, so I'm taking off a little bit later. I put my I'm doing eight by eight hundred meter repeats today, and I have to start off at like I forget my exact paces, but I get a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. So I think I end up with like a 640 pace or something like that. I don't even remember. I'll have to go over all that later. But um, I'm so tired today because I woke up at four and I could not go back to sleep. So I think I fell back to sleep for maybe like 20 minutes or something before my alarm went off, but I'm just tired. And then later today, after I get Wyatt off of the bus, I'm gonna go donate blood. I usually do that like once once a year or so, but the American Red Cross calls me just about every single day. So I finally decided the 
campground is slowing down and I can sneak out for a little bit so I'm actually taking my mom and we're gonna go donate blood it's the least I can do because when Wyatt was a baby he had donor blood too so I feel like I, I have to do it for little babies like him you know plus now I guess with the hurricane they're saying that they're gonna need more and more blood I like to donate blood it makes me feel like I'm doing something helpful so that's what we're doing later this afternoon all right I gotta get going I know I can do this workout I know I can I'm just so tired I don't really want to but I'm gonna lose my long sleeve shirt before I get going because the sun's coming out it was foggy I was chilly while I was standing at the bus but I think I'll warm up quick so I don't want to have to worry about carrying around a shirt all right let's go see who's at the track bye all right that was awesome it was hard but I felt pretty good. I gotta analyze my splits and all that, but I think I did pretty good. I know my last one was 309, and I know it had to be like, I think 312 or 314, so I was happy with that, because I said, I'm gonna try to go 310 or better for this 800, and I did it. I did 309 on the last one, and all the other ones I think were a little bit quicker than they should have been too. So I know Matt's gonna say, I probably should have slowed down a little bit, but I'm so confused about that because he's always telling me that, gotta get my heart rate up, gotta get my heart rate up, gotta get my heart rate up, but how do I get my heart rate up without like pushing myself and going faster, even if it's faster than what he thinks I should be doing? I don't know, I have to talk to him about that because I am confused. But overall, it was a good run, and I don't know what my overall pace was. Let's say eight minutes flat, eight minute pace for 12 miles. I'll take that. It was a good workout, so I'm happy. Now I gotta go shower, get ready to go donate my blood. All right, you should donate blood too, because it's a really good thing. I think if there were no blood donors, I don't know where my little guy would be today. So. Go donate blood. It's the least you can do. Bye, guys. All right, here we go again. It is Wednesday, September 4th. It is really late. I think this is the latest that I have gotten out so far. It is 10 after 8. I'm only going to do probably between 10 and 12 miles today. Maybe about 10 tomorrow and then 6 Friday and Saturday, I think. So, anyway, I gotta get going because today are nice and easy miles. Doing a little mini taper for Sunday. All right, here I go. 12 miles done. I knew today was gonna be a nice, easy day after a hard workout yesterday, plus giving blood. I knew today I, I had to go nice and easy. So, couldn't have gone any faster if I wanted to. I'm tired today. I was up again at four, so I don't know what my body is doing, but all right, I am all done. 12 miles, 9.03 pace, and hopefully I will feel better or even better tomorrow. And then what's tomorrow? Thursday or Friday? Thursday. I don't even know what day of the week it is, but Friday and Saturday, I'm doing nice, easy six milers, and then Sunday is the day. Wish me luck.